Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. <laughs> Today, I'm going to create a look that was suggested from my friend Shaz Do. So, okay, hopefully this doesn't make you mad, but in my head, I've been calling you Shaz You Do. So that might actually end up being a thing now. All I can be sorry. Nicknames just happen. Um, but I thought I could use two of my Cosmic Brushes palettes, obviously the undergrowth for the greens. And then I pulled out Winter Wonderland for some purples. I thought that'd be really fun. So I'm thinking I will use the greens. Oh, nope, stay there, please and thank you. Um, for the mattes, I was trying to decide like green mattes or green shimmers, green, purple mattes or purple shimmers, but I haven't used the darker green mattes in here. So I thought I would do that, which means my options for purples in the Winter Wonderland palette are a little bit limited. I mean, not like super duper, but I think I'm going to end up using this shade called Comfort and possibly this one called Breathe because uh, Atmosphere over here is a multi-chrome, this is a multi-chrome, this is a multi-chrome. So uh, I don't want to do a multi-chrome. It doesn't go like green green. Does that make sense? So that's my plan. Hopefully you're into all of these shenanigans. And I'm just gonna start putting eyeshadow on and yammering nonsensical at you. I'm gonna go into the shade Bark, which looks like a, a brownish green. Oh, I need to, I haven't said that in a long time. Tap out my eye base. I just used the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I didn't go in with the Davina this time. I think I mentioned recently, I'm trying to figure out what eyeshadows need what primers. So, so far it's been doing pretty good. All right, in with Bark, just on the super outer, and then we'll use the other greens for blending out. I'm gonna wrap that around. Yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty darn good for now. Now I'm gonna go into a nettle, which is like the next darkest, and that is going to just go right along the edge. This brush is too big. What was I thinking? I'm thinking that I just washed all of my brushes and I don't want to dirty a boat load. <laughs> all right, we'll make this work. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, wow. That's really pretty. Okay. At this point, we're just mapping out. Nothing wild and crazy. Not blending. Just figuring out where I want the shades to go. And bring it down a little bit or out, I guess. If I take it out too far, it's easier to clean up than not taking it out far enough. Uh, okay. Now what? Do I use a purple on the inner half? and behavior on self. So I'm gonna go into the shade called Blanket from Winter Wonderland. It's a very light pastel purple. Just whisk that through this inner transition area. I 
That's cute. See, the problem with having all this makeup and only two eyes and not enough days is I don't get to use it all the time. Ugh, that's so pretty. Uh, I think, I think this video is gonna go up on Friday. So if that's the case, you're definitely not getting any continuity here. You're getting real life. I pre-filmed a couple videos last week because I could and uh, then I dyed my hair. Well, not dyed. I colored it with the overtone, which is just a color depositing conditioner. It washes out. Um, so yeah, you're not getting continuity here, but you are getting real life. So that's gotta count for something, right? Man, that purple is so good. Okay. Maybe I go into calm as well just below. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, I really just wanted to play today. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna go up on Friday, I think, and if that's the case, I am having the milia bump on my eyelid removed. I mean, I see what's gonna happen. I have an appointment with the dermatologist, so I waited a long time for this appointment, and uh, I didn't really fuss too much about the little milia spot for kind of a long time. It was little. I didn't really, I don't know, it didn't really bother me. And it's not bothering me now, but apparently it will just keep growing and that will be a problem. So I get them on my under eyes kind of a lot, really easily. I feel like if I sneeze funny, I will get one, but like lotions, creams, makeup, uh, foundation, concealer, all of that stuff will give me milia. But I can get rid of it on my face because I don't know. I don't know. I've tried all the things that I do on my face. I do it to my eyelids too, even like shaving. I tried shaving off that one. Not shaving off, but like shaving off the layers of skin that are on top so it can come out. I've not been able to do it. So I'm going to go back into blanket and just finish swooshing that through here. So yeah, I have to go, I have it removed professionally. I asked my doctor and she said she wasn't comfortable doing it on my eyelid. If it was under my eye, she would have taken a whack at it, but not on my eyelid, which I get. And I appreciate her being honest about it. <laughs> okay, going to go, hmm. I think I'm not gonna put anything else on the brush that I used for nettle. I'm just going to blend and see what happens to meet up with the purple. I probably will need to add more, but it's a black brush, so hard to tell how much eyeshadow is left on it. I just booped in a tiny, tiny bit for a little more. And a little bit more. I could boop into one of the other greens as well. I might do that after I get this eye blended with the nettle. I'm gonna go back in with a bit of the Calm purple shade. It's the deeper one, just to boop along the edge. Nothing too like super noticeable, just a little something. Okay, I'm gonna use my Singe Beauty E04 and um, I think Fern, just like a tiny, tiny bit, just for along the edge. And I'm really just gonna blend and blend and blend so it's as smooth as I can possibly possibly get it. And then I can go back in with nettle if I need to. Okay, I like the way it looks on the edge. So let me get this other one done. We'll go back in with some nettle. Back in 
to Nettle. What was I going to say? I was just going to say something. Oh. So I'm going to hopefully get some videos pre-filmed and I thought I would do like some nail videos too while I am unable to wear makeup because once I have the milia removed, according to what the interwebs are saying, I can, I have to wait like 14 days, 10 to 14 days to wear makeup again. So, uh, <laughs> I genuinely cannot remember the last time I went, well, yeah, I can, but, uh, that was badness. So this is not going to be badness. I really like those two together. Uh, this one is giving me a bit of an ish with the blending. Maybe I'm just going in too hard because that's uh, definitely better. Okay, let's let's talk shimmer shade. So I'm gonna take comfort into the inner part of my lid because it's a lighter shade. And I think that's gonna look really good. Whoop, got some fallout because I went in like a maniac. So, yep, that just happened. That's pretty. Also, do you have any suggestions for like what you'd want to see while I am unable to wear makeup. I mean, my channel is makeups, but I obviously am capable of slightly more than just makeup. So let me know. Yeah, I like that. Okay, same brush. I'm just going to give it a quick little wipe on my handy dandy nano towel and then go into Breathe, which was that darker purple. I just, I love cosmic brushes, eyeshadows. They are just spectacular. Shawnee and I did a video ooh, quite a while ago. And it was like four brands we would, or no, five brands we would like to get PR from. Like the, our five favorite. I'm flipping the brush over and going back into Comfort just to swoosh between the two. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And cosmic brushes would definitely make the list of brands I would like to get PR from. I just genuinely love the eyeshadows. I just wish they would get there. Um, quantity of products, right? So it's not so flipping stressful. I hate how like nerved up I get. I have alarms set and I'll just like sit here and keep refreshing my, the page on my phone. Like nobody's got that kind of time, you know? So I'm hoping, I mean, every launch they've done has been hugely successful since Serenity. So I don't see any reason why they can't start doing a better job stocking enough product. Okay, now I think I need to use a green shimmer to put those two together. And no matter what I do, I feel like I always end up looking Joker-ish. And I think the white in here is like a blue white. Oh, a gold white. Oh, would that look good over the purples to take them down a little? I'm gonna try that. Uh, let me clean off. Mm, you know what I'm gonna do? I want a fluffy brush. Fluffy. 
you're fluffy. Turn around. Okay, I'm gonna go into Wonderland on this very fluffy blending brush from Sydney Grace. Yes. Let's see what this does. Because I wasn't really thinking Joker. I mean, I, I like the Joker look like a lot, but I, I really wasn't envisioning that. And this Wonderland shade has a bit of a, like a warm goldish greenish almost. And I took it up way high. I feel like that's more what I was thinking. So now let's go into the green. I'm going to go with undergrowth because it's the darkest, makes the most sense. And of course, booping over the edge where the two meet. I think this is coming together. Oh, I love when that happens. You know? I'm plucking along, thinking I messed it up. But I genuinely think I may have pulled it together. Because this is, I don't know, this feels less, what? This feels less jokery to me and more what I was thinking. Okay, I, I think we're doing it. So let me finish the other eye, clean up the unbelievable amount of fallout I've got, uh, whack on the rest of my makeups, and then I'll come back and show you up close and personal what the eyes look like, and we can have a quick wrap up. Okay. BRB. All right, I'm back and everything is done, clearly. Let me scoot you in for an up close reconnoida at the eyes. I think I really like how this came out. It could just be all my imagination about um, the it not looking as joker like i do want to show you the shade in case you don't have this sitting in front of you <laughs> i went in with the wonderland shade which is this shimmer down here and it took down that like bright purple and made it something i don't know more pastel kind of lilac -y, which is i guess what i had in mind i don't know but i mean Cosmic Brushes has a fabulous formula for both their mattes and their shimmers. Love, love, love them. I'm very excited that I finally did this look. What do you think, Shazzy Do? <laughs> Does it work? Hopefully. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to, since I'm wearing this makeup, film another video and then I don't know. I'd figure it all out, but I didn't really think about the recovery time from having the milia removed until the middle of the night last night. And I was like, well, I mean, it's not the end of the world if I don't film for two weeks, but at the same time, I like doing this. I like hanging out and chatting about makeups or whatever topic comes up, gross fingers, um, nasty nail biters. <laughs> Whatever. We can talk about whatever here. Um, but I don't know. I don't want to not have anything for us for two weeks. So I'm going to do something. And I thought I would throw in some nail content as well. Um, maybe like in a voice over format, unless you are fine with my naked face, because I mean, I don't hate my naked face, but let's face it, way cuter with makeups on. I feel like that applies to everybody. 
Anyway, real quick, I'm wearing my Dolly Parton birthday suit uh, lipstick with one of my J Cat Beauty brown liners and my Unearthly Psych lip gloss. Love, love, love it. Concealer is juvie as per lace. I think it's pretty much going to be. Though I got um, a zit or something right here. I noticed it yesterday and I, I had, wasn't wearing makeup yesterday but I think I switched up my makeups I don't know I need to pay better attention anyway my foundation is this elf soft glam satin foundation if you powder it I think it's great if you have oily skin I I would not wear it without powder because that's just wrong, 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 wrong. So uh, my blush is the NYX All The Butter, the purple one. I genuinely was not going to get it. And then uh, the completionist in me that I didn't even know I had was like, just get it. And I really like it. It's so good. My hair keeps getting in my face. My bronzer and contour is the Melt Stack in Light Medium. My waterline liner is the ColourPop Wild Idea Multi-Chrome, and then the LA Girl Pastel Dreams in Lavender. I figured might as well go two tones since you know, there's two tones on my lids. And then my buffing powder is the Sephora Peruge, and my highlight is the Cosmic Brushes Frosting Highlight Trio. I used the Blueberry Muffin and the Golden Delicious, and that is everything. No lashes today, just like the eye look the way it is. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good, and remember to be kind to you.